Pope Francis encourages artists to be preachers of beauty and truth. De lo humano, de lo divino, de lo bello. The Vitae Summit at the Vatican encourages using the arts to foster a culture of hope and unity. Artists, executives, and world leaders at the Vitae Global Foundation aim to make a positive impact on people through the arts, mass media, and entertainment. Joining us now from Rome is Luis Kinnelly, founder and president of Vitae Global. Luis, great to be with you today. Uh, can you tell us more about this event and also the artists that participated? Uh, well, it was a great time. Uh, it was a two-day event. Uh, we were sharing uh, meaningful conversations, great conversations. Uh, it was interesting to have a diverse group, different kind of artists. Uh, we had directors, we had uh, actors, we had singers, uh, and we had a poet too you know, on the second day in the Academy of Science. So uh, it was an extraordinary time. Can you talk about the Holy Father's speech and what he sort of highlighted during that speech? Well, I think the, the most important thing or the most important moment was when he said that uh, the artists are the preachers of beauty. Uh, it is a very interesting concept. It was a blessing to, to listen to this, this kind of concept. Because we believe the same, that the artists uh, have an important role, but this kind of definition was a, a beautiful definition. They are the preachers of the beauty. Uh, he was explaining to us that beauty helps people to connect to God. And so for this reason, the, uh, the uh, artist has an important role uh, there in some way, and I am saying that, not, not the Pope, but the, the, a, a role of agents of healing uh, beauty connects us with the Lord. So it was a very important concept, a very deep concept. And what about the artists? Um, what have you heard from them? And what did they think of the event? Well, they were very happy. They were totally excited. Uh, they were experiencing a very extraordinary uh, event. We started on, on Wednesday to a visit to the Vatican Museum, a private visit. Then we have a time of reflection in the 16th chapel. Then we have a private dinner there in the, in the museum. And then next day, we went to the Academy of Science, and we had the, the meeting with the Pope. So uh, everything was extraordinary. But well, you know, here in, in the Vatican, is everything extraordinary. And, uh, and they are really happy, excited, in some way shocked uh, because of these uh, extraordinary situations and, and beauty, uh, surrounded by beauty where you see there is beautiful things. So, yeah, they are really happy. Yeah. We're running out of time, but I'm curious, what's next for your organization? We were dreaming, we were thinking about different things. So, uh, and on the other hand, uh, Vitae as an organization, we are uh, working on our own projects. For example, our next festival that is going to happen in Mexico City. Uh, it is going to happen in, in March next year. So, uh, yeah, we are going to have the next summits. We don't have the date yet. Uh, we are going to have our uh, next Vitae Fest, that is a festival in Mexico City in March 2023. And, and, and other things that are going to, to happen, and we'll let you know, obviously. All right, sounds wonderful. And, Luis, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today about all this. We appreciate it. God bless you.